three, four. Hey everybody, it's John DiPietro and this special segment of RVing New England uh, looks at the COVID-19 situation, not only in the United States, but with our friends just north of the border in the great province of Ontario. And we're talking with Stacy Robinson from Great Canadian RV. And Stacy, um, welcome back to RVing in New England. Thanks, John. It's great to be back. You know, Stacy, you have been really the forefront of what's going on in the province of Ontario in getting RVs matched with uh, families of first responders and um, uh, have been working nonstop on that for two, three weeks now. But an interesting sideline um, developed because of that. I know that you had mentioned that um, somehow you and I started talking about country music prior to going on air. And... Um, you know, country music in Canada is is big as well. And you had said that you had vis you were visiting your husband's mom at a That's nursing right. home and had to do it from the window because you yep. couldn't get in. And tell tell us what you noticed and then how this uh, open your windows story developed. I'm absolutely thrilled to tell you. Um, when we went to visit and we were unable to get in and she's unable to get out. Um, choices are pretty limited. So the staff had her come to the window. And when we were trying to talk with her, we noticed that several other residents that were in her area started to migrate towards the window. And we ended up visiting not just with our mom, but everybody else who was around because I I suspect that people who are locked inside these care facilities, while it may be for their own safety, and I totally appreciate and understand that, are really feeling isolated and alone and confused. And um, when I talked to the staff about it, they, they confirmed that they're not allowed to have any recreation programming anymore. Um, the only time that they're allowed to be together within the facility is for meals. Um, it's not an easy time for people mm -hmm. that are inside care facilities. So you saw the other people gravitate toward the window and yes. somehow you had said that you're not a country singer, even though you could be Reba McIntyre's double in Canada. Um, oh. And your husband's not a good singer either, but you knew of a country singer and said, uh, you know, let's, let's give these people some money, um, you know, on behalf of the dealership and send them around. I think you started at that particular facility uh, and developed a firestorm because of that. What, tell us what happened and who the talent was. Um, absolutely. So we are very fortunate to be connected with country music um, through Havelock Country Jamboree and through um, the next rising star out at the ranch resort in Bethany. Um, so we have a plethora of friends within that industry. And Stacey, that, them, that's a big word, plethora <laughs> now. We have a lot. A okay, lot of good, okay, that's a lot better. <laughs> um, one of them being Jordy Jackson. Um, Jordy is an up-and-coming um, country music star. And we asked Jordy, you know, would you consider, we have an idea, would you consider setting up your equipment outside of the window and playing a show during mealtime for the people inside? And Jordy was all over it. He, he was thrilled to do it. And so that's what we did. And we call it Open Your Windows. And we're trying to encourage people who perform um, to consider giving some of their time. We realize that they're not being paid um, as performers right now. All their gigs are canceled. And I think one of the things that holds true with true performers is they need to perform. It's not a, I like it. They need it's, to. It's in their DNA that they it need totally to be. Is. They need yep. to be in front of an audience, regardless of how many people are in that audience and regardless if that audience is on the other side of a window. Absolutely. And as, as it happened, the people inside, when Jordy started playing, they didn't know it was going to happen. It was a surprise. And they were clapping and dancing and singing and smiling. And the, the staff were dancing with the residents and, uh, I'll tell you, it was magic. Something really special happened. And we would love to see that happen everywhere. So we started a movement. There is a Facebook page called Open Your Windows. Um, 
and we are asking people to consider connecting with care facilities within their communities. And providing some type of talent. Uh, were you looking at the eyes of these, of these folks and watching yeah. magic reappear in their eyes? That, that must have been special. It was incredible. Um, I think Jordy was a little bit um, unprepared for some of his requests. People were asking him to play polkas, oh, which is a little outside oh. of the wheelhouse of a country musician, but. They're yelling out the window with requests and dedication. Yes, yes. That's wild, that's yeah. wild. And I'm sure that there must be some, some news uh, coverage of that up there that people can, can take a look at. Um, there is, whatever. there is a story in the Peterborough Examiner um, and I'm, I think Global TV is going to do a spot on it as well. If you would send that link down to us and we'll put it with this video. Um, Absolutely. And tell us, uh, George, Gord, Jordy. Yep, Jordy, Jordy Jackson. Jordy Jackson. And yep. um, I'm sure he must have a Facebook page and people can look him up and, and maybe send, send him a note of thanks for doing what he did because I'm sure that he'd be the first person to tell us that he got just as much out of it by giving that the others did by receiving. He, he absolutely did say that to us. And it was really cute because he said, um, this could be my only patio show all summer. Patio show. <laughs> <laughs> considering it was, be, considering early April in Canada might not be the warmest climate, whatever. Yeah, it was a little brisk outside, but the sun yeah. was shining and yeah. um, it was just, just spend the last, if, last uh, few seconds telling us about what you find is the sharing spirit of our veers all over the world. Oh boy, um, I gotta tell you, our experience through this, while it's been a very difficult time, um, confirms what we know, and that's that the RV community is a very, very special community to work with. Um, it's not, we have not been met with no, we've been met with, I don't know if I can do that, but let's work together to make something happen. Um, every single person that we've reached out to has been exuberant and happy to step up to the plate. People who are lending their RVs in our lending program are sending gift baskets and cards and bottles of wine. And they're not just lending their RVs, they're, they're sending all kinds of sentiments and encouragement and thanks and love to people. And that's the RV community. People help each other. Great. Stacey, we want to thank you so much for taking time. I know that, uh, you know what, there's not a flood of people coming into your dealership right now and, and the revenue is all going out and there's nothing coming in. But when That's the good great. times return, we hope that people will take uh, dealerships like yourself at Great Canadian RV into account for their RVing needs. And all I can say uh, as we end this segment is, hey, let's go RVing. Absolutely.